Hello, my name is Kenny. Uh, some of you guys know my uh, very shy and conservative wife, Kenna. Uh, we're trying to get her to come out of her shell, but it's, uh, you know, it's a process. Um, and it's a privilege and honor to be a part of this heart to home ministry. Um, the unfortunate thing is I tried to negotiate for 30 minute time slots, but uh, Gage gave me the face and I knew the negotiations were pretty much over before they started. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Uh, I will be in Psalm 29 verses 3 through 9. Verse 3, the voice of the Lord is over the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord is over many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars. Yes, the Lord splinters the cedars of Lebanon. He makes them also skip like a calf. Lebanon and Syrian like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord divides the flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord makes the deer give birth and strips the forest bare. And in his temple, everyone says glory. So as Christians, we all desire to hear the voice of the Lord, that voice that was just described in that passage. And we make it a habit to pray either before a message or a Bible study uh, in the hopes that he will in fact uh, speak to us. Recently, I've been convicted when it comes to, you know, I've asked myself the question, how often do I put myself in a position to hear the voice of the Lord? How many appointments am I making with him? Now, these appointments could come in the form of prayer, um, a Bible study, as I mentioned, a church service on Sundays or Wednesdays, uh, fellowshipping with like-minded believers, or just listening to a message in your car. Um, recently, I was convicted um, by a brother whom I love, and I, I won't mention his name, uh, but uh, he, he almost fell over backwards when he saw me attend a Wednesday night service. Um, see, I've managed to convince myself that I'm too tired uh, to go to Wednesday night services after a long, hard day's work. If our appointments with God are on Sunday mornings only, we have to ask ourselves, I ask myself, how many opportunities have I missed? And do you know that the Lord is forever seeking opportunities to manifest himself to us? The question is, are we doing our part? Are we, again, putting ourselves in a position to hear that voice? And I'll make this personal and you could fill in your things. Uh, but I'm going to share with you some areas in my life where I'm pretty confident the Lord will not speak to me. I doubt he will speak to me during a Lakers game. Um, I doubt he'll speak to me during 99% of what Netflix has to offer. And excluding this channel, of course, um, I doubt he'll speak to me through 99% of what I view on YouTube. Um, these forms of entertainment, uh, if I allow them to, will rob me of chances to hear from the Lord. Um, I'm a math guy, so I love to crunch numbers, and especially when they put things into perspective. And so let's say I conservatively miss two divine appointments a week, and that's a conservative number. Um, that's 104 per year. Uh, that's 1,040 per decade. And I've been a Christian for approximately 20 years now, so conservatively, that's 2,000. 80 divine appointments that I've missed with my Lord. Um, I was a no-show. Again, he's forever seeking opportunities to manifest himself to us, and I didn't show up over 2,000 times. And again, those are conservative numbers. Imagine what he had to say to me. Uh, sure, I've won many a fantasy football championships in my day. Um, I've seen some great movies, and I've taken some epic naps. Uh, I'm a nap guy. Um, I could talk your ear off when it comes to all things cryptocurrency, but had I carved out more time to meet with my Lord, imagine where my walk would be. I'm sure it would be far less volatile um, than it has been um, over the time. 
And so what I don't want to do is be the no fun police here and just say, hey, entertainment is okay. But for me personally, my balance is off. Um, I'll leave you with one last verse with the hopes, with the hope that you in fact hear the powerful, majestic voice of the Lord in Jeremiah 33, 3. It says, verse 3, call to me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. And so for the tens and tens of you watching at home, I want to thank you for your time and encourage you to seek opportunities uh, for the Lord to show you great and mighty things that you do not know. And so as the great philosopher Scott Mayo says, I'll see you down the road.